vases are, are just this is where they become a smoking gun to this whole argument i think Can you this is what i've been calling the tale of two industries it's a whole theory that i've been putting together for the last few years again you have a primitive industry that is clearly observably handmade it lacks precision and symmetry we found the tools the egyptians drew the scenes the artifacts match the tools and techniques and then you have this advanced industry visibly sophisticated usually very hard stone is the other characteristic the, the primitive stuff is usually softer stone although not always it the these artifacts as we're doing analysis on them are showing this depth of precision and complexity that's phenomenal the vases are, are just this is where they become a smoking gun to this whole argument i can think can you for people that don't know about this stuff can you just give them some numbers on what sure so yeah, the, the vases go back to pre-dynastic times. It's, there's no debate that these are pre-dynastic. They predate what we would call the dynastic civilization. And over the last few years, they've, we've been starting to analyze them. We, the vase scan team, various groups of people now, have been scanning these with modern technology, LIDAR scanning, um, like laser scanning, even CT X-ray scanning. And basically they're coming back with precision in terms of circularity, flatness, like centering, um, numbers that are, are very much equate to some of the best industrial processes that we do today in things like aerospace industry. So where it's really important to be within two or three or four thousandth, thousandths of an inch of perfection for the, the parts we make for jet engines or rocket engines. Those are the numbers that we're seeing come back on a lot of these vessels. Not true for a lot of them though. And this is, again, this is, these are levels of precision that are not visible to the naked eye. I mean, you're talking human hair, like a sheet of printer papers, like six or seven thousandths of an inch thick, human hair is two to three or four thousandths thick, and you're seeing sometimes tolerances even lower than that. So you, you, it's not something you can feel or see or touch, but we see it again and again. And the only way we can achieve those sort of tolerances today is with very advanced machines.